Blender is a video game, and if you understand how to play, you can level up fast and get good, just like a 15-year-old who went from this to this in the last 12 months. You see, Blender has secret cheat codes that can guarantee you'll get better, and I even use these cheat codes myself to go from beginner to pro. In the last 30 days, I learned these by working with people like Ian Hubert, Peter France, and Blender Guru, but unfortunately, 99% of beginners don't know them. So it's no wonder that when you create new content, it doesn't even look good. And I'll be honest, it is not because your content is bad, it's because the top creators understand that there are shortcuts to better results. And just like a video game, once you learn how to play, you can advance through the levels much faster in this video. I'm giving everything away for completely free so that your next content can look like this. Over the next 10 minutes, I want you to pay close attention to how I model objects. You'll notice something weird. There's a blender artist named Ian Hubert one of the modeling secrets that he uses that makes it impossible for others to win. is called projection mapping. He uses it to create quick models, but we can also use this to create environments in Blender. And I know this works because when I tried it, these were the results. Projection mapping is where you import an image as a plane and use it to extrude out geometry using loop cuts. Texturing complex geometry is extremely difficult to pull off but when using projection mapping in Blender, it's very easy. But most people have never heard of it. Projection mapping is most powerful for background assets because it makes it harder to notice. And if we can get more assets positioned in our scene, it can make it look more realistic. This shows that we put a lot of effort into our content and more people would like it. Stasha just leveled up from this to this, and yes, I chose Stash for retention purposes. You see, I know you already have a couple of questions. How did Stash do this? And what of his short film, Celsius? How is this possible? How does this even apply to me? What you can do is subscribe to your favorite Blender artist's Patreon. You can gain access to their blend files, special tutorials, assets, and more. And I can guarantee you that if you apply this, you will get better. But I would be completely honest, learning Blender isn't always a modeling problem. You see, I'm going to be real. Most beginners do the one thing that Blender hates, and it's almost always the reason that they're waking up with bad renders. So until they understand this, they're going to think that the software is against them. Blender works as a multifunction tool, where there are millions of workflows and uses, all packed into one program. This can make the interface confusing. And it is your job as a creator to show Blender what you want to use it for but this is where 99% of people mess up. Now, I used to make 2D animation in Blender, then I went ahead to do video editing, but I wasn't getting the best results, so I went to VFX and now back to modeling and animation. Each of these has its interface when you load Blender, so depending on the interface you open, you might think Blender is the wrong software, but it isn't. Blender shows you an interface depending on the kind of content that you make, so if you select an interface that isn't related to the kind of content you want to create, you can get confused. So here is my game plan for you take out a notepad right now and write down all of the areas that you're interested in learning about the circle. Your top three that you've been interested in for over three years now, head over to Google and compare those three areas. Then now select the one that you'll be able to make consistent content on and keep doing this for three to six months, post it on your social media like Instagram, and let me know how many views you have gotten. If you want to take it one step further, I have to tell you about the best Blender advice I ever heard. And it has to do with you exploring different types of projects and industries that interest you and match your skills. For example, you could focus on product design, 3D animation, VFX, 2D animation, and more understand this, it seems obvious, but I see so many Blender beginners making this mistake, I would show you a diagram. Let's break it down, because in it lies the shortcut to getting better at Blender if you create a design that sucks. The first thing that you should ask is if the idea was bad. If yes, then it was our fault. 
that our design choice wasn't great, we probably didn't use reference images. If not then, this flowchart would guide us through a step-by-step -step process to identify potential issues with their renders. It starts with a general assessment of the overall render quality and then branches into three main areas, model, materials, and lighting. Each branch further breaks down into specific checks and adjustments that can be made. Check model, ensure the model's integrity, proportions, and scale are correct. Verify the mesh for any issues. Check materials. Inspect material quality, including texture resolution and UV mapping correctness. Ensure that materials are applied correctly to the model. Check lighting. Examine the lighting setup, adjusting the intensity and color as needed. Ensure lights are appropriately placed to highlight the model. Users can follow this flowchart by starting at the top and moving down each branch, addressing issues identified at each step. This should help beginners systematically identify and resolve potential problems in their renders related to the model, materials, and lighting. Let's be honest, most of us are just trying to make something awesome. Sometimes late at night, I find myself going down the YouTube rabbit hole. I find myself watching videos like Learn Blender in 5 minutes or How to Delete the Default Cube. And after I go down these rabbit holes, I never feel productive or good about myself. I always feel like I just wasted my time. But the goal, especially as a beginner, is to watch videos that walk you through the process of creating a scene from start to finish without wasting any of your time and getting something done. Instead of just, you know, wasting 10 minutes of your life watching a video, that offers no value at the end. We can even look at this on my channel. I mean, this video has a lot of good information that not a lot of people share for free. And because of that fact, you've hopefully learned something that will either get you better with Blender or make you more money. You are taking precious time out of your day to educate yourself about learning Blender software, which is way more productive than 99% of people do. Most people are just sitting and scrolling on TikTok. So that should be applauded. And I think it goes to show that some channels give a ton of value for free that most people would charge a ton of money for. So if you subscribe, you will learn Blender.